Hello, my name is Paul Holmesigan and I'm going to take you through one of the natty features of Flowable, which allows you to inspect the state of processes and cases, and more importantly, and the focus of this demo, to debug them. Quick reminder, at its heart, Flowable has a set of models that it uses to describe the cases, processes, business rules, tasks and forms that are going to be used within your process automation application. Now these are common with a, a number of different tools, but Flowable enhances this with additional models that allows everything to be model driven, whether this for describing events that your application needs to handle, different views, different types of people, the security around this, all sorts of things that together make up a process application. There are three main stages to automating with Flowable, design, execute and analyze. At the design stage, you can create a library of models that describe cases, processes, and all the information that you might need. And you group those together in what we call a Flowable app. These can be then deployed and executed on the runtime engines. And that's what a business user will be uh, seeing. Information that can be collected as the models are executed is collected and can be used for standard analytics, information about how things are, are working, but can also be passed to things like machine learning. And that information is what you would use to create a new application. Now, the nice thing with model driven is rather than starting from scratch, you only need to change the models that are impacted by the change and redeploy those, and you can be running with them straight away. The real power of something like Flowable is the dynamic execution that we have allows you to bring in machine learning and AI capabilities to adapt that on the fly. The heart of these models are based around process case and decision management. Those are the models that we're going to actually show you uh, debugging today, whether it's CMMN, BPMN, or DMN. The inspect feature in Flowable can be used in a number of ways. Focus for today's demo is, is going to be around debugging. And this really is a way to improve the model of productivity. It makes it much faster for you to create and develop new uh, models. But you can also use inspect to record and capture test cases um, and be able to replay and run those tests again at any point in the future. That's really useful when you want to um, do validation of future changes or future systems. Uh, it's also really useful when you want to take a business user through what's been um, described in the models just to validate that we've captured the right thing. OK, so now we've started Flowable. It's running live here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is, is look at the model side of things in the design tool. We've got a number of applications here. I'm going to jump into the loan app. And in here, we've got a, a whole bunch of different models. Uh, models that describe dashboards, which will be uh, displayed as part of the app, but also those core uh, automation engines I was talking about. Here we've got a CMMN engine, number of different stages. This one is going to initiate a process as part of a stage. That process is going through a number of steps, including one that's firing some business rules that will be evaluated as part of the process. There are other steps which are, are, are user tasks assigned to a person to fill in some information or, or validate information with different controls and all sorts of uh, dynamic things we do. I'm not going to focus on the, the design capabilities and everything like that. We're just going to publish this um, set of models out um, to the runtime engines and see them running in the business user interface. So let's switch to that now. And this is where uh, a business user would work uh, with their processes and cases. Here's that dashboard that, uh, that I was showing you just briefly. What we're going to do is look at some uh, processes that have already been uh, started, just show the inspect capability. So, so anything that's already running, I, I can drill down and inspect those, see what the state they're in, see what steps have been gone through, what data is being collected. And as I click through uh, in the inspect field, you can see that the top part of the screen switches to the, the user view that, that's relevant at that time. So again, it's a very powerful way of actually seeing and exploring what you're seeing as a business user versus what's happening under the covers. And there's all sorts of information that we can get there, not just the value of variables, but, but everything else that, that's going on in the underlying engine. So that's useful, but what's really uh, the powerful thing to do is to debug one of these uh, processes. And the way you do that is you start a case in test mode. You can see that by the watermark here. I'm just going to fill in the name to initiate the case and, and then we'll start drilling down into the execution. So what happens, you can see information um, about the current step that we're at, a visual view of, of where we are, uh, and we literally can just step through the execution. So here I'm stepping into the case first task as part of this case is to create a, a conversation which is going to be used for some of the real-time chat. And I can just step through and see 
how the CMMA case is being evaluated. I can filter the information so I can just see what's active or what's available to, to work on. And again, makes it very useful for, for understanding how things operate. I can zoom in, build up a, a bigger screen and see exactly what's going on as I step through. As I step through, I'm stepping now to a, a process task. So that's gonna now jump into the, the process and uh, um, follow through the process. And, and I can do the, exactly the same thing with a BP men. I can step through each step I can see at the beginning of the step and at the end of step, the state of things. Now, if I step through here, this is a user task where there's a form. So I can't continue with my stepping until I actually complete the form. So here we are in the business user interface. There's the task that's been assigned to someone. Here's the form that needs to be filled in. I, I fill in the form. And when I've completed the form, then the task will be able to continue and I can continue stepping through my process. So I just put some information here. Just doesn't really matter what I'm putting for, for this example. So there we go, the task is completed. You can see we're at the end of that task, ready to step forward again. Now, of course, it can be useful to step through, but other times, if there's lots of steps, you may want to jump to particular breakpoints and, and leap over certain parts of the process or, or the case to make it easier to find out what's going on. So when I've set a breakpoint, I can use the other control to jump straight to that breakpoint. So you see we jumped over the business rules there. I'm now at the start of another user task, and if I look at uh, that task in inspect mode, then I can see the state of the variables that I've collected so far within the process. Now, it may be that while I was debugging this, I realized I actually put in the wrong value for something. You can modify the underlying variables and the, their values um, within the process and continue working. I could also see there's a, a timer in the, the process, but you know nothing actually listed here, so the timer hasn't actually been activated yet. Let's go back to the test, and again, I can sort of filter what's going on, what I can see at any point in time. I just want to see the active things to make it easier to step through. And I'm just going to carry on stepping through. Here we can see now the user task has appeared for me to work on. And you can see the, the value that I changed there. So now the execution is continuing with the, that changed value. And I can carry on working through the user tasks uh, and stepping through the processes as I go along. There's some, be, some processes where I, I may be creating um, additional documents or, or talking to other systems um, uh, externally. I may want to just jump straight to the end of the, the process. And so I can put a breakpoint there and, and jump to it. Now, of course, if there's any user tasks on the way to that breakpoint, then the system will pause and allow me to interact as if I was uh, a user. So we can see here, I'm being asked to assign uh, a manager to this particular loan. Uh, here's another example of information that we can see. I, I'm looking at a user form here. Maybe I want to debug what's going on in the form because you can have quite complex interactions of, of form components within Flurball. And I can look at the components that are in there and actually highlight, and make sure I'm, I'm understanding exactly which fields is, is doing what particular um, behavior at a particular point in time. And then just continue on. Um, through the process. Obviously, I need to complete the task for it to, to continue. We can continue on towards the breakpoint, uh, stopping at any task on the way to complete those, and we just keep carrying on through the process. Eventually, we get to the end point, and once we finish the process, then obviously we step back up into the case, the CMMN model that called this. And we can continue then stepping through that CMMN model through until the whole case has been completed. That really was a lightning fast introduction to Flowable Inspect. You can try it for yourself by uh, getting the download at flowable.com.